So what's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial in Adobe Edge Animate CC. Someone asked me if you can create a stop animation in this program and you can, so I'm going to show you how to do that. The person also asked if you can control it with a play button. So I'm going to create a button so you can play the stop animation. So let's get started and I'm just going to increase the size of the actual stage here. Over here are the images that I want to import, so I'm going to select all of them and select open. Now what Edge likes to do, it likes to import everything to the stage, but I'm going to select delete and delete all of those off the stage. So let's take the first image here. This is not really what you would use for a stop animation. A lot of people would use like a figurine of some sort. Some people use Legos, you know, some people use clay. So I'm just using pictures of my Chromecast that I took with my camera. So basically what we're going to do here is just place the image right there. And then we're going to right click on this and we're going to convert it to symbol. And I'm going to call this animation. And next, what we're going to do is control T in the beginning of the timeline and select stop. That way, when this animation begins, we're just going to have the stop here. Now, since that we want to create a play button, what we're going to do is create ourselves a label right here. And we're going to call that animation. Next, what we're going to do is create an on trigger for this symbol. So we're going to select on. So you're not going to see the animation because we need the play button. Next, in the beginning of the timeline, we're going to create ourselves a button. I'm doing this really quickly. You can include some text if you want to, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it like this. We could change the color if we want to. And I'm going to right click on this and convert this to a symbol. Let's call it button one. Select OK. We're going to right click on that and we're going to select open actions. Select click, then play. In quotations, we're going to select animation. That's because the label on the timeline says animation. Also where the animation is, so it stops right there. Control T, add another trigger select stop. So we have one button here. When we click that, we're going to play this animation. Now for this button itself, we could change the cursor and that's what we're going to do right here. And I'm going to select pointer. That way when someone hovers over the button, they will have a pointer. Double click that and that's where we get the symbol. Now in the symbol over here, we have one image. That's our first image. It says 12 over here, but this is the first image I have in my library. So if stop animations are one frame per second, that's what you're doing when you're creating a stop animation. Say you want to animate a figure like a Lego. You would move the legs, the arms, or whatever else, and move the figurine as you're trying to animate it. That's what stop animation is. So right here, we can toggle this show grid. And if we scrub on the timeline, if we move it right here, we have one second. So this is what I would do. Right here, we're in the symbol for the image. These are where the images are going to go. We'll create an on trigger right here, select on. And then every one second, we're just going to select off. And the reason why we're going to do that is because we're going to bring in the next image. And we can easily line it up like this. For this image, we're going to select on right here, and then we're going to go one second in, and then select off. And we're going to keep repeating the step, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue doing this. Right here, select on. Three seconds in, select off. Then I'm going to bring another image in. Select on, and off,
we're going to have a trigger here, control T. We're going to select play in quotations animation one. And the beginning of the timeline, control L for a label of animation one. So all I want to do is for it to animate and then it's going to go to the beginning of the timeline and keep playing. So that's pretty much it. Control enter to test this. So you see that there's nothing showing here and we're going to just press the button. And here's our stop animation. And it's going to continue to loop. Let's go back here to the actual animation. Double click that. So rather than loop it, we can select this trigger, select delete, press control T for a new trigger and select stop. That way when the animation plays, it's just going to stop here. Press control enter. And that's it. That's the animation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial in Adobe Edge Animate. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.